last interview of the day let's go okay deep breaths girl baby girl you have studied so much you have put in the work five months five months studying okay this is your last interview bring your full self you are going to kill this interview it has been your dream to work at this company so you got this let's do this let's do this okay interviewer is not here yet gives me some time to chill out ah! my hand just like just won't stop shaking i need a the interviewer is about 11 minutes late I don't know, should I message the recruiters? What should I do? I'm giving an interview today? I thought I was done for the day. <sighs> Yeah, so, uh, so I am late. I didn't know I had to do this today. So, yeah, you need oh, enough time for your question. So let's just get into it. Do you know where the chat is? I'm going to put a question here. I just sent the question and let's get to it. Oh, yes. I see the link to the environment in chat. So let me open that up. Okay, I see the question. I'm just going to take some time to read it. So it says, given an input string S and a pattern P, implement regular expression matching with support for period and asterisk, where period matches any single character and asterisk matches zero or more of the preceding element. The matching should cover the entire input string. Okay, so I had a couple of clarifying questions, so I wanted to ask you that now. Mm. So one of the questions I have is, when it comes to S and P, and let me actually start, you know, writing down some of these requirements so I can keep track of it. So I wanted to know about the length of S and also the length of P. And then also when it comes to like the case of it, so like uppercase and lowercase, um, what can we expect from it? Like, um, can S have uppercase and lowercase? Can P have uppercase and lowercase? Uh, just, just do lowercase. Also, um, something else before I even go into this example is I want to talk about what the output should be. So, for example, what Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No special characters. Yeah. yeah. So after understanding all of the requirements for this problem, I think there's two ways we can approach it. One would be a recursive solution and the other one would be a dynamic programming solution. And this is my solution. Yeah, so I had so many questions about what it's like to work at your company and kind of like the different tools and resources that you use for your day-to-day -day job. So I'm so, oh, yeah, no, we are out of time. Yeah, um, no problem, no problem at all. Thank you so much for your time and have a great night. I think I ace all my interviews. I think I ace all my interviews. Yeah! My thoughts on my, uh, she did not pass me questions at the end. She could have explained more about her implementation before coding. Code could have been cleaner. She was just all right. I thought, I thought I really had it this time. I wonder where I went wrong. I guess better luck next time.